Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Alert today for Monday, December 21st. In this series, we cover a lot from the Target Alert map to DZ exclusives you could farm for, highlights for the weekly vendor resets, and of course, build and farming suggestions as well. I'm Shadow Gaming, and if you enjoy this video, consider pressing the subscribe and like buttons below. And remember to comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. Otherwise, let's get this video started. All right, guys, so starting off with the dark zones and, of course, vendor reset highlights, which will always be in that bottom left overlay, which is pretty big. But what I would consider buying this week would be that punch drunk mask over here at the campus. Now, that's rolled, god rolled, basically. All you got to do is reroll that weapon damage to 15% at the recal station, and you got a god rolled punch drunk mask, and that's perfect for an all high end headshot damage build, like I always talk about. All right, guys, so for normal target Alu, we got Mass and DZ West. This is where you could farm for the Hollow Man Mass. That gives you, I believe, 8% damage to health baked right into it. It's a Yawl brand mask, and it's a collectible, but at the same time, it's also extremely useful in niche situations like raids and legendary missions where you need to deal a lot of damage to health to enemies without armor, you know, like Chungas, robo uh, the robotic dogs, and whatnot. Now moving on over to the other DZs, you know, Badger Tough does not have a DZ exclusive and neither does Giligard, so, or sorry, Heligard, so I'm just going to move on to the north side now. Alright guys, now we're over here in the north side, Target Alu highlights, and I'll just keep reminding you guys, Grand Washington Hotel is still invaded. You go down to Mission Settings, Toggle Mission Mode, and then it will reset it to invaded if you've completed it already like me. Now what's important to this being invaded is that you can get Puck's blueprint from this to craft the Nemesis over here at the White House, you know, before it joins the general target of loot pool for MMR target of loot. So definitely keep that in mind, you know, and uh, you might have to go to title base and stronghold and get that designated hitter to drop from Wyvern at the very end of the mission and then deconstruct it to get the tally. But otherwise, that is how you initially get the Nemesis before you can farm in, you know, MMR target of loot. Now back to the north side, we got Petrov Defense over here at Camp White Oak. You can farm for the Contractor's Gloves with 8% damage to armor. Now that's great for all LMG builds, or if you're stacking damage to armor with like two pieces of Walker Harrison Co., the Lady Death, or Assault Rifles. Next up, we got Hani Yu at Manning National Zoo. Now Hani Yu, this is the most sought after backpack in Title Update 12, I believe. That's the Force Multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms, giving you 30% skill damage every 3 seconds you land a shot. And the only alternative would be tech support, and the perfect one is not worth it because it is an Alp Summit piece, which you could get at Coney Island Ballpark today. And it's the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support, but I do not recommend picking it up. I believe it's on the wrong brand set. This is a healer brand set, and tech support should be more of a damage set. That's what I use it for. It's what everyone uses it for. Otherwise, that's it. Canley College is closed. Some of you pick your own target of loot. So now let's go check out what we got on the west side. All right, agents, now we're over here on the west side, Target Alu highlights, starting off with gear sets. We do have Aces and Eights at West Potomac Park. Now, Aces and Eights is a great headshot damage gear set. What you can do is mix three pieces of Aces and Eights with two pieces of Aralda Holding, one being a backpack with Vigilance or Composure, and a Chain Killer chest piece with Perfect Headhunter. That's a really great headshot damage build. You don't have to do it all high end. You could do it with the three pieces of Aces and Eights. You could even do it with four pieces. Next up, we got Clips Protocol at Bank HQ. Now, my favorite fire damage build, I'll put in the top right card now. That's four pieces of Eclipse Protocol, the Imperial Dynasty holster, and one piece of Golong gear for the additional 10% status effects. And this thing clears solo and, you know, group content, heroic and legendary. So keep that in mind. It's great overall for status effect and skill damage builds. And really, real quick, I'll mention Hardwired. Hardwired is a decent set, but I believe Rigor has completely replaced it. You used to be able to put together three pieces of Hardwired, a couple pieces of Hana Yu, one piece Wyvernware, Kinetic Momentum, or Glass Cannon with the Force Multiplier backpack. But now that's been overshadowed by my new skill build for sure, which I'll put in the top right card now. And that's three pieces of Empress, you know, Hana Yu, Wyvernware, Force Multiplier with Kinetic Momentum and the Waveform and the Capacitor. But with the Rigor gear set, you can get instant cooldowns, which is what you used to be able to do with Hardwired and no longer can. It only gets rid of 30 seconds. So I highly recommend just trying out the Rigor set instead, or just what I said with the Assault Turret Striker Drone build I recommended. Alright guys, moving on to normal target loot, we got LMGs at Lincoln Memorial. Two exotics, Bullet King and Pestilence. Bullet King for sure is great, you never have to reload it. And the Pestilence can have a massive damage tick over time, over a million with a Negotiator's Dilemma build I usually recommend. It's my double LMG build. And then of course for the named LMGs, you can get the Carnage with Perfect Sadist, which I believe is on sale in DZ East this week. As well as the Good Times with Perfect Fast Hands and several others that I might recommend, like the new Reliable Perfectly Optimized. 
Next up, we do have Providence Defense at DCD HQ. You can get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon, which can be utilized on DPS builds and skill builds to amplify your damage to 30%. But of course, that does amplify damage against you by 60%, so keep that in mind for sure. Next up, we got Assault Rifles over here at Potomac Event Center. Now, there's two exotic Assault Rifles now that you could farm for in the Light Zone. The Capacitor that you get from the Summit Challenges at first, and then the Chameleon with Adaptive Instincts. Both of those are great for sure. Chameleon for like DPS builds, and the Capacitor for your skill damage builds, of course. And that's going to net you about 60% skill damage. I believe, yeah, it caps out at 60% skill damage when you're at 40 stacks. That is very worth it. For the named assault rifles, I'd recommend the test subject with Perfectly In Sync. That one's definitely good. Mechanical Animal Future Perfection, the Burnout named FAMAS, and then of course the Maniac named Military AKM. Next up, we got Walker Harrison Co. of Federal Emergency Bunker. This is where you could farm that Chain Killer chest piece with Perfect Headhunter I was talking about with the Aces and Eights build. And really, I just only recommend that for a headshot damage build, or you could use Braced for the extra weapon handling if your aim isn't as good. I think really the last thing I noticed right here is we got knee pads over here at the White House. So there's two exotic knee pads you could farm for, a Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads and Sawyer's knee pads. Now the Sawyer's knee pads is really good for sitting still sniper builds, even tank and skill builds as well. And then the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads are great for run and gun SMG builds because you're going to be vaulting over and going cover to cover a lot. Otherwise, you can farm for those Fox's Prayer knee pads with 8% damage to targets out of cover. Those, that's, that's a really, really, really important knee pad to have in this game. But of course, I would always recommend farming Overlord over knee pads. But either way, you're still going to be able to get them farming knee pads. I just think it's better and more faster to farm Overlord. That really seems to be about it that I'm going to recommend for West Side. Now let's go check out what we got on the East Side, Agents. All right, guys, now we're over here on the east side, Target Alu Highlight, starting off with gear sets. I see Strikers at Capital Building Stronghold, and like I always say, I always just run three pieces of this. I think four pieces might be useful. One of my um, subscribers said to use the automatic shotgun, the rock and roll, you know, to build up stacks very quickly. But otherwise, I just, I, I'm, I'm going to give that a try. But otherwise, I always just recommend three pieces to increase rate of fire, to stabilize that Merciless. And honestly, I, I would rather just use Braced and Weapon Handling, but, you know, I just don't like Strikers that much anymore. I wish that they had done it justice in this game, but I just don't think they did. Of course, Foundry Bulwark at American History Museum is a great tank build, probably the best tank build you could put together. Makes you nearly invincible in Legendaries and Raids, so it's definitely worth it, but remember the chest and backpack are Iron Horse Raid exclusive still. And of course, speaking of Iron Horse Raid Exclusives, Future Initiative at Jefferson Trade Center, that still is a chest and backpack raid exclusive. It's a great healer build though, you know, and if you don't have that chest piece, what you should do is get an Alp Summit chest piece with um, Empathetic Resolve and Safeguard on the backpack. And then Ongoing Directive at Downtown East. Ongoing Directive has multiple great builds. You know, you got a bleed build and then, you know, you got two bleed builds. So you can mix four pieces with the Vile Mask and a Badger Tough Backpack with Creeping Death. Or you can mix four pieces of ongoing directive with the Ridgeway's Pride and then Perfectly Wicked Backpack, which is the Anarchist Cookbook. You know, two builds that are really worth, you know, farming for, putting together and running. And that's pretty much it for gear sets. Moving on to normal target Alu, I see Overlord at Grand Washington Hotel. So this is where you can farm that Fox's Prairie knee pad. So keep that in mind, this would be a better solution than farming knee pads over here at the White House. Next up, we got MMRs over here at District Union Arena. You got the Mantis and then of course you got the Nemesis. Both of those are the exotic MMRs in this game. Now the Nemesis you need to have gotten first from the quest or you could share it with somebody, somebody could share it with you. Otherwise for the named MMRs I recommend the White Death and Ekim's Longstick with Perfect Ranger. Those are the two MMRs I'd recommend that are named. Next up we got Rifles at Federal Triangle. So you've got two exotic rifles, the Merciless and the Diamondback, both of which I really don't recommend. Now what I do recommend is named rifles. You got the Surge with Perfect Spike for your skill damage builds. And then the Baker's Dozen with Perfect Lucky Shot for your DPS builds. And usually what I see is console players using it, but some people just like the extra ammo and whatnot. And then really, yeah, that's about it that I would recommend over here, you know? Um, yeah, let's just move on to New York City now. All right, guys, last but not least, we're at New York City Target Alu Highlight. Starting off with the gear sets, we got True Patriot at Liberty Island. This is one of my favorite builds. I'm going to show you guys on the top right card now. Four pieces of True Patriot, the Memento Backpack, and a Sokolo chest piece with Intimidate running the Lady Death or the Scorpio. And then you could run the Dark Winter or the Mop. Amazing build. Solo, group, heroic, legendary content. It works for just about everything. 
Next up, we got Negotiator's Dilemma at two bridges. Now, I got a double LMG build that I'll show you guys as well. Four pieces of Negotiator's Dilemma, Grupo Sombro gloves, and then, of course, the Coyote's Mask. I run the Pestilence and a Neg EV, and the Pestilence damage tick goes over a million at some point when it's fully stacked. Definitely worth it for crowd control and DPS bills, so definitely check that one out for sure. Last but not least, we got Tip of the Spirit Financial District. I never really recommend this. I still haven't got around to getting a chance to try it with the Memento and whatnot, so I won't recommend it right now. Moving on to normal target of loot, we got shotguns at Wall Street. Now, of course, you got two exotic shotguns in this game now, the Sweet Dreams and the Scorpio. The Scorpio, I think, overshadows the Sweet Dreams by a long shot. The Scorpio is amazing with a Hunter's Fury build. I recommend putting together four pieces of Hunter's Fury, a Sokol of Chess with Obliterate or Intimidate in the Memento backpack, and run the Dark Winter in the Scorpio, and that is an absolute shredder build. Otherwise, the three best shotguns in this game, the mop with 10% armor on kill, that custom MA-70, and the Marine Super 90 with close and personal rolled on them. Next up, we got Douglas and Harding over here at Pathway Park. You can farm for that punch drunk mask, but just please, please go to the campus and just purchase it. Reroll the weapon damage to 15%. And then, of course, holsters over here at Battery Park. There's two exotic holsters you could farm for, Imperial Dynasty holster for your skill damage and status effect needed, guys. And then, of course, the Dodge City holster for DPS builds, pistol builds, and headshot damage builds as well. Now, there's also a named holster you can get in this game uh, in the light zone. That would be the Forge with 50% extra shield health. And really, guys, that's all. All I could recommend in New York City targeted loot highlights, so I, I don't see anything else worth mentioning, really. All right, agents. Well, that was the targeted loot for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially anyone who watches this all the way to the end. Thank you so much once again. And remember, subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed my content. It really helps me out. It helps you out, too, because you always get to see where my content is. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the join button below, exclusive perks, extra support to help me out, and thank you and shout out to all five of my channel members as well. You can also grab some Shadow Gaming merch. I'm wearing my hat and my hoodie right now, and god dang it, I like it. You can find all the information and links all the way in the video description and pinned comments below, so definitely check them out if you want to. Otherwise, guys, take care and be sure to stay tuned for more daily Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents.